But we begin tonight with some tough love for Fox News viewers. You, you might want to record this and send it to your MAGA hat wearing parents or uncles, because frankly, they deserve to know. OK, ready? Here it is. You need to know that most of what you hear on Fox News, especially about the 2020 election, is a lie. The host that you love and whose every word you hang on likely don't believe a single thing they're saying to you. In fact, according to the legal brief released by Dominion, the voting machine company that is suing Fox News for $1.6 billion for lying about them, every major Fox News talk show host is only pretending to support Donald Trump and faking that they believe the 2020 election was stolen from him. And they are lying to you for the most obvious reason of all, which Dominion calls out on page 35 of their blockbuster filing, in which they quote an email from Ron Mitchell, the vice president of primetime programming and analytics at Fox, who emailed his bosses, the president of Fox News and the CEO, nearly two weeks after the election on November 18, 2020, saying, quote, viewers are watching less. And he suggested a solution. Quote, do not ever give viewers a reason to turn us off. Why were viewers turning them off? Here was Fox News on election night. The Fox News decision desk is calling Arizona for Joe Biden. That is a big get. Fox News was the first network to call Arizona a key battleground state for Joe Biden. Behind the scenes, the entirely accurate call triggered a collective freakout at the Trump White House and throughout Fox News. According to Dominion's filing, the senior vice president and managing editor of Fox's Washington bureau, Bill Salmon, received an angry text from a member of Trump's team claiming it was way too soon to be calling Arizona. Minutes later, Salmon received a similarly angry phone call from White House chief of staff, Mark Meadows. Fox was so concerned that senior executives discussed the backlash the following morning during their daily editorial meeting. The trifecta of professional Trump apologists, Tucker Carlson, Sean Hannity, and Laura Ingraham, were equally livid. Carlson wrote his producer, Alex Pfeiffer, on November 5th. We worked really hard to build what we have. Those efforts are destroying our credibility. It enrages me. He added, what Trump's good at is destroying things. He's the undisputed world champion of that. He could easily destroy us if we play it wrong. In another text to his producer, he added, do the executives understand how much credibility and trust we've lost with our audience? We're playing with fire for real. An alternative like Newsmax could be devastating to us. You see that? Tucker didn't care about the facts. What he cared about were things like the company's stock price and keeping Trump's fan base tuning in. And frankly, he wasn't wrong to be concerned. They're actually chanting, Fox News sucks. Fox News sucks. The reason why they're chanting that is because Fox News called Arizona uh, for Biden yesterday. And a lot of people are angry about that. And here is what Newsmax, which Carlson specifically called out as a threat to Fox's dominance with conservative viewers. Here's what they were saying at the, around the same time. You do have to keep in mind, as you said, Tom, we're not calling it here at Newsmax. I'm highly skeptical, and you should be too. There are allegations of dead people voting. President-elect Joe Biden? I don't think so. I just don't think so. It doesn't look right. It doesn't sound right. It doesn't feel right. And it's not right. It just doesn't feel right. Now, back in New York, Fox made a decision to stop telling the truth and start indulging the lies. According to Media Matters, in a two-week period after the election, Fox questioned the results or pushed conspiracy theories nearly 800 times. And here is what that looked like. The Dominion software system has been tagged as one allegedly capable of flipping votes. And don't forget, still serious questions about the integrity of Dominion. All I know is Democrats, the media, and Republicans prior to this election agreed. Dominion is calling all of the allegations that you and Rudy Giuliani and Jenna Ellis have made uh, absurd. Your response. 
Well, it's almost laughable. They've closed up their offices and moved elsewhere. Now, of course, none of that was true. And every significant person at Fox News knew it. And now here's the part where I let you in on the behind the scenes of this job. Whether you're doing a show like this one or the Fox News primetime shows that have more of an editorial voice or a straight news show. A big part of this job is breaking bad news to your viewers, uncomfortable news. And there are definitely potential costs to that. But that actually is our job. What you just heard were anchors at Fox choosing to promote the big lie because they are afraid that if they don't, their audience will leave them for an outlet that's even further to the wild kooky right. These hosts and their bosses, frankly, do not have enough respect for their viewers to simply just tell them the truth about the result of an election and trust that they are mature enough to handle it. Even though privately in their emails and in Hannity, Ingram and Tucker's group chat, they were more than eager to share the truth about how ridiculous they knew that those stolen election claims and the people pushing them were. In private, Tucker Carlson called the claims ludicrous and totally off the rails. Sean Hannity called Rudy Giuliani and Sidney Powell effing lunatics. Dana Perino called it nuts. A producer for Lou Dobbs, who was fired, by the way, called it complete BS. Maria Bartiromo called one of Sidney Powell's emails kooky. And Rupert Murdoch, the man in charge, the boss, called Rudy Giuliani's claims really crazy stuff and damaging. At one point, Tucker, old Tuckums, told Laura Ingram in their group chat, Sydney Powell is lying, by the way. I caught her. It's insane. Ingraham responded, Sydney is a complete nut. No one will work with her. Did it with Rudy. Another time, Fox executive Bill Salmon commented on Fox coverage of supposed election fraud. Supposed election fraud. He used the word supposed. To Chris Starwalt, one of the people who made Fox's accurate election night call for Arizona and then lost his job because of it. In that email, Salmon wrote, quote, it's remarkable how weak ratings make good journalists do bad things. And yet they kept airing these false claims and hosting these kooks day after day, even as Dominion sent Fox literally 3,682 emails in real time, asking, pleading, demanding that Fox stop spreading lies about their company. Fox's corporate representative confirmed that those emails were widely circulated within the company. And yet, they persisted. And the culmination of those lies was the violent assault on our nation's capital by people who believed that Fox News is the news. Hours after the assault, Tucker Carlson called Donald Trump. He called him a demonic force, a destroyer. The disrespect for Fox viewers is so thorough that those lies continue to this day. Just look at what Tucker was doing just last night. Hours, just hours after he and his employer were exposed. There are so many unanswered questions, some of them lingering. How, for example, did senile hermit Joe Biden get 15 million more votes than his former boss, rock star crowd surfer Barack Obama? Results like that would seem to defy the laws of known physics and qualify instead as a miracle. Was the 2020 election a miracle? Honestly, we don't know. We don't expect to get an answer to it tonight.